I need to make myself... There's my a turntable. I've got one here for my sister, but I bought myself two spare ones. And I need it flat. So what I'm going to do now is attach this card onto there and then I'm going to be putting a non-stick mat on that so that when I'm working I can spin it around and it's just small enough for me to work with because I've only got a small space so uh, I might actually just do foil that I can put over it rather than a non-stick we'll see how we get on um, because I will be using tools actually a non-stick would be better I'll be using tools to uh, scrape stuff off and whatnot so first of all i need to draw around this so these are just little hints and tips for you lot let me get me oh, i won't do a sharpie because i don't want to mark that let me get my pencil and then i've got i use um the my old dress uh scissors you know dressmaking scissors but, but they do cut chipboard really well I'm just going to be doing that. Now, easiest way is to cut off all your excess first. And it just makes it so much easier to... Um, now, we save that size because I can get bricks out of that. So we don't throw anything away. And I have a box at the side of me that I put it all in. This doesn't have to be perfect as long as it covers the area that I need it to cover. Now, I did do a video yesterday, but unfortunately, I don't know what's wrong. It didn't film right. I made these little daisy flowers and these, they're all cooked now, you know, baked. Uh, with a little marble pot and... I wanted to make sure that we got some use out of those and I was just testing these out. So I will come back. I think I overbaked them as well as this. I did a little dish, that um, big dish, little dish and that little cup. But they all need filing and painting. So I did do those as well and they were over. I left them in too long. And then I also have done these little flowers as well, just using up some of the... Uh, material that I had and I didn't want to waste it so there's lots of things we're going to be doing with the uh, clays and you know just make a difference we've got to start and do other things besides flowers I can't you know I've so many flower videos I'm going to turn that upside down I think like that that'll do might be a bit easier for you I just don't want to um, continually do those because there's more to it than that, if you know what I mean. And because there's like 500 flower videos, you've plenty to go and have a look at. From material to, you know, steampunk, shabby sheet, you name it, they're on there. So there's loads for you to look at. And please don't forget, drop by the shop as well, because your support in the shop helps me continue buying materials to do these sort of videos for you free of charge so like i keep saying i'll always say it and it is my uh, channel so i can say what i like um i know some people don't like me going on but you know if i don't um if i don't promote myself there's nobody else going to do it for me and to keep one going keeps the other one going so they go hand in hand and if that stops, then I won't be able to continue. Once I've run, uh, run out of stuff, I won't be able to continue. So it's as simple as that. Because my shop is not here for me to make a killing. It's here to be able to buy um, materials to help teach other people things uh, and share my knowledge. And there's over 50 years of knowledge there. So it's... Um, and 5,000 videos, not many can say they've achieved that. And I was thrilled when I received the YouTube Silver Award for doing over 100,000 subscribers. But that doesn't mean I say that 100,000 subscribers shop at my shop. <laughs> they come for the free videos, but they don't like to go to the shop, some people. So, sorry, I'm going to say it because it's true. And, um, you know, it's uh, fine giving out free videos. But somebody's got to pay for the materials. And I gave up my job for this. <laughs> 
So I do really appreciate, I'm not, you know, harking on. I really do appreciate it when anyone comes along and spends anything in the shop because it enables me to carry on what I'm doing. So, you know, I've said it. <laughs> People won't like it, but to be honest, they don't have to come for my free videos. Right, now I've got to attach this, but I don't want to destroy that. So what I might do, if I want to be able to use that maybe in something else, um, is some double-sided tape. So let's see if we can get away with doing some of this. I'm going to cut some of this off because it's uh, not sticky enough. But it'll hold what I want. Oops, I would imagine. We're hoping. So I'm going to put one straight down the middle. These are things you can... See, there's no point in buying things when you can make things yourself to uh, aid you in your crafts. And I'm always trying to share my hints and tips with people because that's what we do. Right, so that's all I need to do. Peel that off. On that one. There's a lot of people online right now, you know, trying desperately to make money um, since this bloody pandemic. Scamdemic, I call it. I'm not saying it's not, you know, people haven't died. I know they haven't, it's unfortunate. But I think it's not as bad as they make out. But anyway, that's my opinion, which I'm entitled to. So, um, what we're going to do is just put this together. So I'll have to cut that round. Didn't quite get that circular. So not a problem, job fixed. There you go, easy peasy. And that's fine. So I think what I'm gonna do now, let me just see if I've got a piece of this to fit there. I'm not sure if I have. I opened some clay the other day and can't find it. How's that, eh? We do sell these mats. They're very strong and thick, as you can see. Let's move these out of the way. Plus that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to attach it using... What can I put on there? Because it's a non-stick mat, so it's going to, apart from tape, I wonder if this is any good. Probably won't stick. We do sell this as well in the shop. We sell just about anything that you can craft with. I think we can do it with this. It's just got to hold that. Sorry, mine's years old and I very rarely use it. That's why it's yellowed. But we do sell um, centimetre wide. I think that will do. You know. Now, with it being a non-stick mat, will it work? Probably not. Yeah, uh, with us having uh, over 5,000 items on the shop, uh, 5,000, 500 items on the shop, some people don't spend time enough to go through it and see what there is. But if you are looking for anything like this, all you do is type it in. Just put tape in. Now, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, that's fine. That's going to hold. Yeah. 
You don't have to be perfect or anything like that. The dogs are getting excited, Ray's taking them out. So look, I can spin things round when I'm working. 